Here we go, we're going to be removing this weather strip now. Got a hammer, a pry bar, and you're also going to want a knife to actually score the caulking before you actually begin removing it. So I'm just going to take and score this. If you don't score it, the caulking where it bridges from the weather strip to the trim, it could damage the trim, so always make sure you score it first. Now I'll start from either top to bottom, start working my way down and remove it. That's how simple it comes off. Now we'll cut a new piece, put a brand new piece on it. Nails sticking out on this. You don't want to just set this stuff down with nails sticking out because somebody can step on it. And get tetanus. Otherwise, you step on it, you're going to get tetanus, have to go to the hospital. It's good to go. Now just lay it face up, even though the nails are bare. Prior to installing, the new trim, there's some caulking over on here, a ridge of caulking, you're gonna to wanna to scrape that off. Otherwise your new trim won't lay flat. A simple painter's five in one or putty knife will work for that. So to make it simple now, I've got my new weather strip right here. I'm just gonna take my old weather strip Instead of having to use a tape measure to measure it, I'm just gonna use my old weather strip to measure my cut. And we got this, the rubber weather strip right here, and instead of your saw cutting that, you wanna have a nice clean cut, and so I'm just gonna use a knife to pre-cut the weather strip right there where it's gonna be, and then, the plastic part, this is actually plastic weather strip. I'm gonna cut that with my saw. I'll take it back to make sure it's correct. So this trim I get from my local hardware store actually has pre-punched holes where the actual nails go. And I like to actually just start my nails off uh, down with the trim down and then I'll put it up and hammer them in. So we just keep boxes of these inch and a half flathead nails in our van because we replace this stuff quite often. Now with them pretty done, we'll set it up here and start nailing in. Just so wanna make sure it's even, the backside is even with the trim on the garage door, otherwise when your door goes to close, it's gonna to be too tight. Now I'm gonna re-caulk it, and it'll be ready to paint. Now my new weather strip is all installed. One last thing, the weather strip, we just wanna um, make it cut at an angle right here, the rubber, so it actually looks nice and isn't just a blunt end right there. Finish caulking that bead right here, so we're just gonna take, trim that with a pair of scissors. Now it looks, the end of it looks a lot nicer, it looks a little more natural. Doing the opposite side, the other uh, piece on the other door, because this old style weather strip is a little bit narrow, narrower than the new style weather strip and he just wanted the two sides done, so I'm gonna be doing the opposite side to make sure it looks symmetrical. I'm gonna mark where I want my cut. Then you can either use a knife or scissors, pre-cut the rubber. Now I'm gonna make my saw cut. Just 
Just make sure this back side right here is flush. There you have it, two pieces of weather strip on this door, installed, ready to go, ready to